We're going to be outputting content in a JSON format, so from various sources as web URLs, also from the spreadsheet data, and then outputting that content from those various sources into a JSON formatted endpoint URL, and that's going to be all done using the web app within the Google Apps script. And I'll give you a few different examples how you can connect and use the URL fetch to fetch content from web URLs. In addition, how you can get content from your spreadsheet and output that content into your web app. In this lesson, we're going to be using the fetch, the URL fetch method, and getting and getting content from an external web page. So let's try that out, and we can also run that within the do get, so that we can eventually output it onto our web page, and then actually should be do get. And this is the default function for the web application. So within the do get, let's go ahead and we'll get our JSON data, or we can just call it data. And using URL fetch app, allows us to make a fetch request to an external page. And for now, we're going to set up a separate URL for that page. I'm going to be using the random user API. So this is an open API that allows you to make requests. We can also specify the number of results that we want to get back from this and it returns it back within a JSON format. So let's uh, go ahead and we're going to use this URL, make the request return back the content as JSON. So making a fetch to the URL that we've specified and we want to get the content text. So using the get content text method and within the logger log let's log out what we get returned back for data. So to make sure that we can make the request. And for this one as well, you're going to have to accept permissions uh, to use the URL fetch app method. So let's run that and we see we return back all of this content. So let's pull that content out onto our web app. So just as we did with the content service, we're creating the text output and we're going to return it back as JSON data. So do a return. And then using the content service, create text output. And then we've got the data that we want to output. And then let's uh, set the meme type. And the meme type, again, using the content service to specify the meme type and selecting the meme type and then what we want to output this as. So we've got a few choices there, and we're going to output it as JSON with the meme type. So now when we go to the web app, the testing URL, we're outputting the content in a JSON format, and so this is coming from the external web page and allowing us to output the content from the external web page. And then so you can also update to different web URLs so let's say, for instance, if you have a WordPress site where you've got a JSON feed, so I do have a WordPress site and generating a feed. So returning it back as JSON, so we can also output this feed. So whatever the URL is, as long as you're open to connect to it, you can request it as content within your Google Apps script and then output it within your web app. So let's do a refresh and just make sure that we're getting the content. So this is coming from a website and this is outputting all of the content from the website. And it's outputting it as a JSON output from the web page as a feed. Uh, so also if we want, we can also request content so I'm going to comment this out, so using the command palette, and we'll toggle the block comment. And we'll do one more where we're outputting content using do get. And this time we're going to output content from the spreadsheet. So I do have a spreadsheet here with some random data that we're going to just output into the web app as JSON. So let's select the source for the data. And the data, so using the spreadsheet app, 
we want to get or open by ID and specifying the ID. So the ID for the spreadsheet is located within the URL here at the top. This is the easiest way to select the ID and it's more efficient to go by ID than the URL, but of course you can do the URL as well. So selecting the ID and then we're selecting and opening this by ID. And then we are going to get the sheets. So we can get sheet by name. So if we want a specific sheet and it's expecting a string value. So in this case, we're going to be using a sheet called data one. So just add that in as a string value. And then next we want to get the range. So now that we've got it within a data format, if we log out the contents of data into the log, and if we run do get, we need to first accept permissions and just go through the accepting of the permissions within the Google Apps Script. These are the permissions that we've provided to the account running code within the web app. And you can also remove it over here within the myaccount.google.com the permissions. So it looks like uh, we're just throwing an error there that the parameters string don't match the method signature. So we don't actually have a name. And this actually should be get sheet by name. And selecting the sheet by name. So it should be data one. And run that again. So as long as we're getting the sheet object, then we can move and chain the next item is where we get the data range. So this is going to select all of the available data. And that means that wherever we've got content within the spreadsheet, that's going to add it into the data range. So selecting it as a range. And then lastly, let's uh, run the get values method. And this is going to return back just the values of all of the content within the spreadsheet. And it's going to return it back within an array format. So we can then use that data and update it as JSON data. So we can stringify it as JSON data. And I'll make this slightly smaller so that there's more space for the editor. And we want to, because we're using do get, we want to return and then using the content service, we're going to create the text output. And the text output is going to be the JSON stringified version of the data. And let's also set the meme type. And the meme type, once again, is going to be content service. And select the meme type, which is going to be JSON. And now we can go out to the web app, refresh it. And we're outputting the content from the spreadsheet as an array that can be connected to using a JSON format. Or we're putting it as a JSON format endpoint that can be connected to with other web applications. And then once you're ready with the web app, you can just deploy it. So going under the new deployment and select the permissions and I'll just call it test three and select to deploy it so anyone has access. And that's going to generate the executable web app, which you can use as the endpoint to connect to from other applications. So go ahead and try it out and try out just different ways to output different types of content from different sources within your web application. And you'll be ready to move on to the next lesson.